Greetings! Welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic 2. I am Jake. Uh, last time, we did some more fighting on uh, the surface of Narshadag, got the Ebonhawks transpo uh, transponder ID codes. God, that's tough to say. Um, changed so that uh, uh, it would... They were changed to uh, a Voga the Freighters. Oh my god, I can't speak. Um, Voga the Hut's Freighters, and so uh, Goto's yacht would capture it, and that would enable a break, uh, a rescue for of the exile. So, there's something weird about uh, the ship that I didn't properly explain because I didn't have time, and also it's weird. So there's all of these um, things you can do um, throughout the ship, um, and it's not really properly explained, but there's all these things. Um, so there's all these, um, these all these systems of the ship. So like, there's an auxiliary console over here, um, and uh, it's it's controlling. There's the, like the turret system and the mine system, and it's not properly explained, which I kind of like because you kind of need to figure everything out. Um, so if we like. Uh, unlock that and unlock that now we have in uh, access to the power distribution and the, the containment chambers so we can see the then there's a basic diagnostic system and so if we access the containment system we can do that and it's all shit anyway it's not important what is important is loot firstly um actually it is important it's just it's just hard to explain unless you're doing it it's, it's something that 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 you have to kind of figure out what the fuck is going on and how things work. And that's really hard to just, it's just it's something that's hard to describe. So we, there's all these things like the poison gas and, and, and things that, that you can shut down or overload and things like that. And it'll cause things on the ship. Uh, yeah. So like this droid has shut down on it. So now, well, first of all, we gotta open this. That's very important. It was imperative that we got those 92 credits. But then we can go to a console, and then we can, oh, there's an overload thing here. All this stuff. Um, so now if we go back to this console over here, we now have access to the, um, Access to the containment fields, and we. Oh, uh, no, I need to do the thing. God, it's so weird. Uh, upload a program. So now we have these. Uh, I know I'm not explaining this right. So now we have access to the containment fields, and we can say, hey, we're going to run the program shut down. And that shut down all the containment fields. And Kray levels up from that for, so re for some reason. Attributes, wisdom, skills. Get everything moving in the right direction. Powers only get one. Well, that's fine. Uh, revitalize, improve, revitalize. That's useful. Yeah, you. Okay. Because if we go up this way, there would be all these containment fields blocking everything, and no way through. I guess. I wonder if Bayodur could go through them. I think he can actually. I think you could bring Bayodur. You can just go through them, because he can sh go through shields. Um, so there's another droid in here. And then we can access its core. Then we got the codes to the turret system. So now we could shut down or overload the turret system if we wanted to. Um, it's kind of gimmicky. It's not really well explained. Um, but, yeah. Actually... Yeah, just trying to th think through everything. Anything in here? Oh, okay, poison gas is in here. Why didn't that poison me? Hmm. Oh, what the hell? What? 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 What is? What is going on? Why are you here? How did you get here? What? No, get out! Why did you open that door? Oh, 
Hello. Can you just not do that for a little bit? And how did you? How are you not dead? What are you doing? You, no, just this kill him. Okay. Uh, Hanmian's pathing got a little fucked up. What's going on? Is there more? Why is there more? Fuck off. Okay, are we good? Are we good? Rhea, are we good? Okay, we're good. Alright. Good. Alright, and main leveled up. Excellent. Um let's get constitution up. Constitution's good. She gets another fucking feat. I don't... What do I give you? You have max conditioning. You have... Can I store them? No. None of this helps you. Caution. I mean, I guess this gets her treat injury up, but that's not worth it. Doesn't need dueling, close combat. She doesn't need any of the skill feats. I mean, I guess finesse? Because she has more dexterity than... I don't... Yeah, fuck it. We'll just give her a... Give her a flurry. Get her working on flurry. That's fine. Um, yeah. Go to Ziad also feels weird because you don't really know what you're doing. Or where, where you're going or why or anything. I mean, ultimately, what needs to happen is you need to shut everything down so that you can escape because the tractor beam is containing the Ebonhawk. But I think, I think if you go to the ship, it'll s say that. But oh, now we got a reset thing. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there's those turrets in the next room, and I want to keep those. I think resetting would. Oh, that's gonna poison me. That's fine. I, I got it. Things to do. That's good. Um, program library, upload programs, reset, turn to main menu, systems control. Oh, I don't have access. To... Wait, no. Yes, I do. Unlock the turret system. Systems control, turret defense, reset. Yeah, advanced target gaining protocol, protocol removed. Fabulous. Uh, workbench, not going to worry about that. I've gotten some really good loot in these containers before. I did not get some very good loot in this container. I mean, a nerve amplifier pelt I think is pretty good. What does that do? Yeah, that's 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 all right. Actually, we'll 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 give that to Korea. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. Um. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Oh. Now I don't know if resetting the turrets made it so that they'll. Um. Yes. Oh no 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 no. Oh, oh that reminds me. There's a very important thing I need to do, because I'm level 15, and there's a very important thing you can do when you're level 15. Also, I have a, had a lot of difficulty opening this for some reason. Okay. Okay. So the okay. This is this is just a, a docking hatch for a thing of chick. But when you're level 15 and you are. Oh, it's like 75% of the way towards light side or dark side, I believe. Maybe it's 50%. In either case, you gotta talk to Kreia, and something interesting happens. Ah, you are here. You felt it, did you not? Yeah. So, um, this is another point at which uh, the Visa Master thing is supposed to trigger, um, but you all uh, usually get it very, um, very early, so... 
Um, it was Visa's master. He can feel my presence in the Force. The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the weapon masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi watchman in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. Okay, so this is a um, this is a new class, a new class that you can choose for yourself. Kind of like in the first game, how you started with the class and then you became a Jedi class. Very similar thing, except you're choosing a Jedi class, or if you're on the dark side, a Sith class. And they are roughly equivalent. They're they're roughly upgrades to the um, to the ones you start with. So a Weapon Master is, is comparable to a Guardian. The Watchman is comparable to a Sentinel. And the Jedi Master is compare, uh, comparable to a Counselor. Um, the thing is, they're not really equal. Um, yeah. And so while Watchman fits the playstyle I've been going for and the character I've been building, and there's some fun things you can do with a Jedi Master, Usually, in most instances, the way you play this game, Weapon Master is going to be the best of them. So, I wish to become a Weapon Master. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. You have become, you have become a prestige class and taken your first steps into the learning... into. To learning the higher mysteries of the force yeah level up motherfuckers get that 16 con going on i get fewer um skill points but that's fine um skill points are not desperately needed um ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah leave persuade and i'm actually gonna leave a point behind that's actually fine feats 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 and i'm also going to take class skill repair um, for very strange reasons. Um, but as a Jedi Master, at, since it's like a guardian, you, um, you have very interesting, uh, or, uh, lots of feats to deal with. Um, and I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take Force Wave, because Force Wave is just insane. It, it's, it's an, it's an area of effect, Force Power, that is just the best. It's the best. It's it does damage. It has the chance to knock people down. It's great. It's fabulous. Okie dokie. So uh, actually, nope. That's not what I wanted to see. I want to see this because I got some new feats. Um. So an increase to prestige to uh, Jedi sense. Um. An increase to uh, deflection. Um. Increase in melee damage. Just increase in melee damage. Which also works if you're unarmed. Um, it's just so much better than anything else. Um, and it stacks with unarmed specialist. Um, so, yes, weapon masters are great at unarmed combat. Uh, this is the reason, by the way, I wanted to bring Kray along, because that gives you a, f uh, a free level. Um, I don't know if it starts you right at the experience you need to gain the... I don't know. But... And it'll just allow me to be a better weapon master. So obvious... No, that's not this room. What is this room, then? This is just another storage room. Okay. Oh, hello. Well, that's sexy. Well, if I didn't have a disruptor. Actually, I actually have two disruptor rifles. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Karakan gauntlets. What are Karakan gauntlets? Well, that's neat. Um, no, you have the thing that does that. That's not helpful. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a move on.
Okie dokie. Oh god, oh god, what? I reset you. What? Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Um, gonna turn on solo mode. No, you. Get. Interesting pose. No, get out of there. Okay, reset does not do what I think it does. Kreia, stop doing. Stop being helpful. Get out of the way. Alright, good. I want these turrets alive. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, reset did not do what I thought it did. Uh, yeah, shut down. Failure? Okay, so what's the diagnostic then? Oh, they're targeting both hostile and friendly units? Does that mean they attack each other? I think that means they'll attack each other. Well, shit. See, I was hoping these turrets could stay alive, but... Hmm. I wonder if I overload them, will I get the experience points? I hope so. System control, turret defense, overload? What did that do? No! What? I'm trying to overload the turret defense. Why did why didn't that just Oh you idiot? I mean stop doing this. You know what? Just gonna leave solo mode on. Just stay there. Jesus. Dirt defense. Reset. Yeah. So now overload them. Oh. Oh, that inflicts my. I was hoping that would destroy them. Okay. Targeting both hostile and friendly units. Well, that's probably the best of everything. Um. See, I want these turrets alive. Fuck it, let's just run past them. Oh god, you're here. Hello. Oh! Well, they're attacking him now, so that's fine. So let's just get handmaiden through. Okay, that's fine. And we'll get Kraya through. Okay, fine by me. And I guess we'll just fight that droid commander now. Oh wait, do I need him? No, 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 handmaiden, for fuck's sake, stop doing that! No! Okay, are we good? We're good. And how many of those... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You all come over here. I think he dropped something that I need. No, it's on the other side. Well, that's fine, then. Okay. All right. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to... Wait, why can't I do the thing? Why can't I... Uh-oh. Um... 
Hmm. I thought I could... Do you need to destroy droid for these? Um... Well, that ain't good. O okay. I don't have anyone with demolitions. Hmm. Um... Okay, that's that's not too bad. Not too bad. I I I can recover from this. This this is this, this is this is a great idea. Oh you bastard. Alright, actually, yeah, can you guys can help me? Actually, I don't need help. I'm fine, actually. Never mind. No, Handmaiden, stop doing that. Actually, what does it matter? We can heal anyway. Move. Thank you. Can I outrun the explosion? This is a terrible idea. Oh, God. I'm almost dead. Okay, that did not go as planned. Hi. Interesting. Okay, the commander. I think the commander has a minefield thing. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Combat's not hard. It's just me trying to be clever, and it doesn't work. Yeah, see, there's a thing for the minefield. I know what I'm doing a little bit. And there's a force field that keeps this the thing up. This resembles Ooh. some of the Republic monitoring stations on Citadel Station much more complex. I suggest you surrender. Your chances for escaping this vessel are near zero, and your chances of survival are rapidly approaching that number. Your ship and your lives are mine. The only question is how much resources you want me to expend in subduing you. That was weird. One of those things didn't have anything to do with the other thing. Wait, can I use a light... There's no way that works. Uh, thankfully, there's command console here. Then we can unlock the minefield. And then if we go to the minefield, can't we reset it? Operating normally. What about overloading? All units are considered hostile. Yeah, that's what I want for the, for the time being. Now, all you people need to just stay over here. Don't fucking move. No, stop moving, I said. Jesus. No, stop moving. Good. All right. Because I'm trying to be clever. Because then if we go to the containment cells, we can just shut those down. And then there's all these droids here. And they're going to see me. And they're going to walk through the mines. See, I'm smart. Sometimes. Oh, hello, you made it through. That's fine. See? And then, now that we're done with the mines, we can go back to the thing, go to the mines, and shut them down. Didn't I shut you down? I shut you down, you idiot. So reset, and shut them down. Minefield is disabled. It's really not. These mines are not disabled. Oh, whatever. You guys come with. The, the, the path is clear. I lied. Oh, no, I didn't. Aw, that would have been a fun joke. Can I, can I select the door? I want to select the door. Here we go. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. Do not do that. You will set it off. So, ah, there's the door. Okay. Okay. Now we're good. So bridge console... Um... No. How, how does this work? I don't remember how this works. Isn't it this thing over here? Still too low. 
fuck you. Skills? What? Really? Fine. He's a mine. That's not good enough, is it? Do I have anything that... That increases security. Good, good. Hey. Droid controller. Droid controller. Wait, did I explore everywhere? I did not. I explored everywhere that matters, though. That's fine. You can get the other stuff on the way out. Um, Alright, so switch that back. Good to know I have that. So we're going to take all this power stuff. We're just going to switch docking hatch seal and this stuff to the secondary menu. Um, and then do I unlock that? Systems control. Oh, power distribution. Uh, overload? No, shut down. There we go. Secondary power is not. Oh, what? I can disintegrate. Ah, what remains of the bounty hunters have found me. Now it is time to cue the detonation sequence. Yeah. You're welcome to try, big eyes. I don't know why these guys are here. They don't provide anything. No. Idiot. Now can I? Field. Reset. Overload. Uh, return to systems control. The minefield. No, 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 no. Turret defense is malfunctioning, targeting both hostile and friendly. Good. That's that's what I want. And now the mines are going to be targeting both as well. Wait, the mines are going to be targeting both. How do I get it out of this room then? Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let's just not deal with the mines. No, 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 no. no. Minefield. Shut down. Disabled. Good. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Uh, so now that the cloak and everything is not working on the ship anymore, then uh, all the bounty hunters have flocked to it. And I think there was a thing that was mentioned that all the bounty hunters, everyone would be on his ship as soon as they found it. And the cloak was the only thing preventing them from not doing that. Why are you here? Whatever. These guys aren't called Zugs, by the way. Oh, let me show off Force Wave, by the way. Okay, that is not a good job, but if you can go that's neat. Okay. Prey is now over here, that's good. Wait, can you drop remains? That remains? That's not remains. Okay, let's go this way. Because there's more. Let's get him. I disabled the minefield. What the hell? Does that not count as a minefield? That's stupid. I will silence this one. And you got loot. Hey, you got loot. Cool. Plasma rocket. Nito. Can you, you guys drop loot? You didn't drop loot. Okay. Now I guess there's gonna... The reason why I wanted to keep these uh, turrets alive is because there's kind of a boss fight here. It's not a very good one. Come on. Mechana Krememopa, Kamasuna Ramgan Ma, Chochane, 
Anta scream so chi, nor cha herem me choc windido. Yeah, because these bitches show up for some reason. Whatever. But now they're gonna fight the Turks. I mean, we're gonna fight the Turks too, so they're gonna fight the Turks as well. Turks and Turks. I don't know. I had never done that before, I wanted to try. Oh my god, he's dead. How about this one? Yeah, he's dead too. Yeah, not a very exciting boss fight. Although it is fun to bring Atten here. That's why it's the best reason to bring Atten. Or just he'll remark on them. I think he calls him Shadows. And that's funny. Do we like Spinning Blade? Eh. The other twin do we like Spinning Blade? Nah. I mean, okay, they're not. I mean, it's fine. It's all right. It's whatever. It's just, most of the time you just want to do damage to people, you know? And here's some Gand. Why are you going that way? Just go through the fucking door. It's already open, you fucking idiot. Force wave knock that guy down. That's sweet. Little unnecessary. Let us end this. Fallen. Yeah. There's more Gand over there. There's more Gand over there. Okay. Oh, he survived. That's interesting. Cool. Any stuff? No stuff. Ah. Hey, you drop stuff. You're useful then. Poison grenades. Eh, that's fine. Can I go to the one room I didn't go to? Oh, hello. Focus. No, apparently I can't. That can't do 40 damage and fire. Okay, you're dead now. Yeah, I know there's like a fight going on and everything, but there's a fast steel cylinder that I missed. See, it's got Mandalorian ha Sith power gauntlets? Sith power gauntlets? Oh, I'm very glad I picked up those then. Holy shit. I have 24 fucking strength. Wait, why do I have... Oh. Because my class changed. My mastery thing changed. I have 24 fucking strength. I have a plus 7 modifier on strength rules. That's stupid. I shouldn't be able to have that. Alright. Well, everything's good. Let's go. Why did the bounty hiders try to board the ship and shoot the ship down? Is it because they were after me? They know that's Godo's yacht, right? And he's the one who put whatever. I can't believe we just blew up Godo's yacht. That's going to destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. You don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, the system is going to be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Zez, Kai, whatever it is. Zez Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me to watch out for you, keep Goto off your back until he could meet with you. We'll need to head back to Nar Shaddaa, to that safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. What do you want now? If you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. How did you get up on my ship? I mean, he probably just... Well, I mean, he probably just put a droid on the ship because it was attached to his ship and there were droids on his ship. It's not that difficult. I'm afraid I do not understand what you mean. <sighs> Whatever. See, he doesn't even want to explain it. That was a stupid question. Uh, why would I want this droid? As I indicated, 
this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. How do, well, how do I know it won't try to kill me? He doesn't want you dead, idiot. The exile is dumb in this conversation. Well, it's better than saying I accept your gift. How do I know it won't try to kill me? Yeah. I take it back. That's a better question to ask than say ex accepting it. I cannot harm you. You are the key to saving the Republic. Pray that you do not prove yourself otherwise. Goto has joined the party. He has special power over droids and not cannot set off mines. Kind of like Mira, except worse in pretty much every single way. I don't want your help. It was not a request. Any attempt to interfere with my duties would be unfortunate. As much as I need you, you will find you will need me as well, and this droid will prove useful on your journey. Alright, says Kyle is waiting. Enough talk. Yeah, I go to he's an interesting character, but he's not an interesting companion. I mean I've never used him, so I haven't I haven't gone down like his influence things to see if he has anything interesting to say, but probably not. And his like his his droid gift companion thing is not as compelling as T three or HK, and not simply because you know those two from the first game, but just because it's a floating ball. I mean it's not as neat or cool. It's not dynamic. Whatever. So, you have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shaddaa. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. So this is the first of the uh, chats with the Jedi Masters, and uh, they're very interesting because they're 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 um, they're people who know me both in the Force and in person, and it's really interesting stuff. So uh, hopefully this will be pretty interesting for you. So uh, why did Kuvar think I would return from exile? I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you. Or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain, but so many of them are gone now, as you no doubt know. Why me? Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. I have questions I want answered. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. Where are all the Jedi? They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life, or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves, gather information without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. Plan? Yes, he felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us though, too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Atrus is, is on Telos. Not exactly sure I should give that up. Well, he is Jedi. I suppose that's fine. Atrus, but I had thought she had gone to Qatar with the others. You sound surprised. Yes, she holds the last of the Jedi teachings. It is good she survived. Well, I had other questions. What I can tell you, I will. What happened to, th what happened to them? Isn't that what we said? Didn't we just go over that? Anyway, let's see where it goes. It is a long story, but there is no harm in you knowing. And someone should know. Only a handful of us remained after the Jedi Civil War. Barely a hundred in number. Then, even that hundred began to vanish. In places where the Force seemed blind. The only pattern we determined is that when Jedi gathered, they were seen no more. At the last Jedi Conclave on the Miraluka world of Qatar. The entire planet was wiped out. An entire race. 
destroyed because the Jedi chose to gather there. It was only then that we realized we were facing something far more powerful than we knew how to fight. And obviously we know that um, uh, Vera's master. Um, we can't mention it though. Uh, is that why you hid? We could not allow the fact that when we gathered, we placed everything around us at risk. A Jedi's life is sacrifice, but we cannot allow our presence or actions to endanger others. And we could not fight an enemy that will not reveal itself. But any Jedi, anyone who was strong in the Force, who attempted to track down such a threat, vanished without a trace. But that makes no sense. It does, but you must step back to see it. Whatever this threat was, it was targeting us and everything around us. Yet it was somehow weak enough that it was afraid to confront us openly. If it believed us defeated, then perhaps it would finally show itself. It was a faint hope, but it was the best we had. It was Kavar's plan. He was always the greatest tactician among us, and had seen war more than the rest of us. Uh, I had other questions. Very well. I need to know why you cast me out of the Order. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer. Nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order. Because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled. And if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Very well. Why are you on Nar Shada? I mean, you kind of know the answer already, but let's hear exactly what he has to say. I had thought perhaps that here upon the Smuggler's Moon, I might find some evidence of the threat we faced. The bounties on Jedi and their disappearance. I did not believe the two were connected, but there was a chance. And the strong currents of life here on Nar Shada make perceiving a Force user difficult. I could use it to cloak my movements and watch without being discovered. Very well. Why did you cut me off from the Force? Is that what you think? We did no such thing, but it is a technique that has been used as punishment in the past, yes. It is a rare sentence, and to my knowledge it has only been done once, at a moment where a Jedi discipline has failed. What caused your loss, I fear, was different. I am not certain I understand it. We did not understand it fully then, and only recently do I feel we may have become enlightened. The other masters may have more knowledge of this, but I do not, and I do not know if they even live. Does it matter? It seems your power has returned. Perhaps the loss was not a loss at all. That's a very nonchalant answer to it. It's like, ah, oh, you, you didn't have connection to the vital spirit connecting all life in the universe together for a good, what, ten years? Yeah, it's fine now. Um... Very well. And at the end of the trial, you and the other masters said something had, ha had happened to me. What was it? Ah, so the records of your trial were found. Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. But I have no answer for you, as much as I would like to give one. We vowed never to speak of it. And although I would not keep promises to Jedi, I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar was a friend. If we were gathered as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. Okay, so I have to get them all together in order to hear exactly what happened to me. Not good enough reason to go to the other places well. and talk to people. Uh, do you know of anything of force bonds and how to end them? Yes, such bonds are a connection that can be formed at moments of crisis or in the slow understanding that grows between master and apprentice. It is most common between two beings who are sensitive to the Force. It allows the transmission of feelings, of influence. It was something you were gifted with, as I recall, before your fall. You form such attachments easier than most, even to those who could feel the Force only faintly. Even Vrook could not ignore it, which is saying something. That's 
interesting. First of all, I didn't know it could form in moments of crisis, but also this thing of I form those such attachments with people easily and even with those that, that are very faint in the force, um, which seems to be uh, kind of how Kreia in a previous part described me as a leader and how everyone echoes my movements and uh, everything like that. Um, yeah, and I have developed a bond with another, one that is lethal to us both. That is most unusual and unnatural. I have never heard of a bond of such strength. How would I end it? There were a few within the Order who knew more than I did of such bonds, but their students were few, lost in the Mandalorian Wars. It was rumored that Revan studied such bonding deeply, both through the Jedi histories and with certain teachers, before he left the Order and went to war. Ooh, that was a voice error. They didn't rec either they didn't record the thing that said she or they forgot to put it in. Huh. Interesting. Um Yeah. And that's all the questions, so that's all I wish to hear. What happens now? Now. Now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. Your students, your disciples were taught to protect innocence, even when you would not. No, no, they were not to blame, but many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time, a time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance, and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings, and though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me, so I left the Council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing. And I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. Says Kyle is definitely the most interesting, uh, most interesting of the of the Jedi. He he seems to understand that there was something wrong with the Jedi teachings, and there was this blinding arrogance to the Jedi Masters, and. That they're they're failing to understand something. There's something wrong. There's something more going on here. And he's the only one who seems to understand that 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 ne that new threat beyond the the more direct threat posed by you know Visa's master needs to be needs to be tackled and understood. And maybe even the Jedi Order could be could learn something from that. Um, yeah. Uh, and since I decided that Revan went down the light side path, um, you can say that Revan redeemed herself. Um, oh God, this seems, uh, this seems more punishment. It will serve as a lesson to all Jedi. Perhaps weaken them with your doubts. Um, no, I urge you to reconsider. For all the failings of the Jedi, there have been so many successes. It provides no comfort at all for reasons in which I still must keep secret. Ooh. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice. And I have never believed those of the Council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. 
that's a very interesting thing. Because obviously, whether you go down the light side or the dark side with Revan, they end up, you know, kind of disillusioned. And and they, they end up fleeing into uh, the unknown, unknown regions again. Like, there was, there was something haunting them, something that they were just... They had just remembered from their, you know, amnesia. Um, so, very interesting. Uh, is there anything you can teach me? But we have spoken enough, I think. In words, I think, dull us both. Let us speak through the force, through sparring. This form you may have already seen much of during the Mandalorian Wars, but it is fitting to speak using elements of the past, I think. Ataru is the name given to the movements of this form. Though it is aggressive, it is focused, and its best use is in combat against a single opponent. This form is somewhat less useful in deflecting blaster shots. Use it when dealing with opponents in close combat, not against a battalion firing heavy blasters at you. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. And thank you, Exile. You are returning. It is good that you are back among us. Yeah. So that's us, Kyle. Uh, like I said, uh, he, he's really interesting. He's much more interesting than a lot of the other... Well, to me, he's more interesting than the other Jedi Masters because he's the only one who seems to get it. And maybe that's the point, that he is the only one who gets it, and that um, everyone else isn't. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Sorry, hold on, just just a sec. Okay, so just just, just that, and then this, that one. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Okay. Anytime now. There we go. I'll be right with you. Oh, hello. Nicely done. Okay, sorry. Um, so, uh, Zeskayel is the only one who seems to really get it. Um, everyone else seems to... Well, we'll see, but... He just understands, and it's, um... It's just, it's just appropriate that, that he, he... This game is a, is a lot about how... There's something wrong with the Jedi teachings. And that's kind of why I exist. It's why Revan exists. There's, there's these aspects to it that aren't necessarily failure. They're just problems. And uh, Zedekiel seems to get it. So anyway, we leveled up. Uh, and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna put any points in any of my skills. And I know that seems insane, but trust me. Trust me, it'll it'll uh, it'll be important. Um, and thankfully, since I'm a, a, a weapon master, I get a lot of feats now. So I'm gonna take master toughness. Sounds good. Powers. Um, apparently, destroy droid is important for taking out mines. I'm gonna spec my character for demolitions now. Um, yeah. I like Zeskayel. I mean, I, I don't think he's... I don't think he has the solutions. He seems really close to... For fuck's sake. What? All right. Unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Just shut up. Did either of those work? Neither of those worked. Okay. Failing master. Failing master. 
Systems failing, master. You know, you could have helped. So, yeah, he seems like so close to realizing, no, there, there's actually something wrong fundamentally with the way Jedi work, and he just doesn't quite get it. Um... But I still think he's, he's just fascinating. He's just utter, really com very compelling. Um, so let's head aboard the ship. I'm sure there's a lot to talk about, a lot of, or a lot that's gonna happen when we we get aboard. So let's uh, let's see. Check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Well, whatever you call that thing on your head. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Huh! Don't you ever give it a rest? Fine, don't mind me. I just need to get some stuff from the cargo hold. You know the first tier of styles, but you're holding back because I am unarmed. Tell me where you were trained. What can I say? I'm a quick study. You lie. Few know the Achani styles by reflex. Oh yeah? Guess you saw a lot of the world while you were freezing your cargo hold off in the Ice Academy. Didn't you, sister? Next time I walk in here, I'm carrying a blaster. Oh yeah, one other thing. Don't think I haven't noticed the way you've been sparring with our ex-Jedi friend. This isn't some pleasure yacht. So if I did know all the Achani movements, I might know more than just the first tier, including the etiquette rituals. So keep your hands where I can see them. Fool. Shut up. Ooh, she called him a fool. Yet another reason why Handmaiden is better than the Disciple. That conversation. Why are you here? Because I told him. Told him everything. Ah, and now you are free. Yeah, so no more threats. No more of your requests. You and me, we're done. Did you ever think I truly held you? You're more of a fool than I thought. What truly held you was you. And let me show you why. I once held the galaxy by the throat. As you once held her by the throat and let her die slowly and your emotion at that point is what you fear I wielded power like you cannot imagine everything I saw was awash with possibilities spreading outwards touching everything else I saw all of that all that the force is and only when it was ripped from me did I truly see it and I know what lies buried within you. That you hide with your desperate thoughts, your guilt, your lusts. I can unlock that part of you any time I wish. It is a simple thing, the human mind. Once it feels something strongly, it becomes etched in the memory, the subconscious. Shall I show you? That part of you that hungered to kill Jedi, that took pleasure from it? Or perhaps you will continue to listen to my counsel, and I shall ignore your pathetic attempts at freedom. Now leave me, murderer. I have nothing further to say to one such as you. All right. Now that everyone's done with everything they want to say, I think that's enough for, for now. 
next time, we'll uh, check in with everyone on the ship, probably do uh, have our, our third great dialogue. And then after that, if there's time, there's still some stuff on Narshda we didn't get to. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Um, but in the meantime, I have been Jake. This has been Knights of the Old Republic 2. Have a good one. <laughs>